Hello, good evening. Welcome to the start of a new working week on Northwest Tonight. I'm Roger Johnson. Our top story. The Harrison Ford superfan looking to take his love of Indiana Jones to the big script. And we started off this week with a fair bit of rain around this morning. How are we looking for the rest of the week? Join me at the end of the programme. I'll give you all the details. Um, Kay has got the weather for us at the end of the programme. Also coming up before we finish at 7 o'clock, he's got figurines and folders full of film posters. We're going to meet Oldham's Indiana Jones superfan, who's now making a documentary about his hero, Harrison Ford. Speaking of heroes and... Heroics. From uh, heroes to the opposite, right? Uh, just before the weather, with Kay, we're going to talk about Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. Have you seen it? Haven't seen it yet, Rog. No, nor have I. I look forward to it, though. Uh, it could be the big office box office blockbuster of the summer. It's Probably brought really. Harrison Ford back to the silver screen <laughs> at the age of 80. There's hope for all of us, Rich. <laughs> better with age. I'm only 79. Uh, uh, it's great news for Patrick O'Hare. He's from Oldham. He's normally a musician and a web designer, but he loves Harrison Ford so much, he's making a documentary about him. So Ian Haslam has been to see the whip-wielding superfan today. In 213 BC... Archimedes spoke to the dial. Indiana Jones has returned once more and is back to his whip-cracking best. And Harrison Ford fans couldn't be happier. My name's Patrick O'Hare. I'm a lifelong Harrison Ford fan. I've got a ten-foot ball whip to prove it. Star Wars made me a Han Solo fan. And then when I watched Indiana Jones, that really captured my imagination and that made me a Harrison Ford fan. All the collecting and things like that started then. And the clothes, do you go to work dressed like this? <laughs> no. Oh. I wouldn't really sit around in the house in it. It's not, it does get a bit warm, but... Um... I'm not sure I think you would. <laughs> <laughs> One thing he would and has done is make a documentary film about his hero. You've met Harrison Ford. Tell us about that. And this is all, of course, part of Finding Ford, the documentary. Myself and my director, we found out that they were shooting the new Indiana Jones film in Grossman Station, which is uh, in Yorkshire. Next minute, uh, all these SUVs started rolling up and I turned around and Harrison Ford was stood there in costume as Indiana Jones, but with a mask on. He was great. He was very nice, polite. He signed an autograph and then he kind of, he gave me the Ford finger and hit me with a, a bit of a one-liner. Last week, the movie premiered in London. No I know change here. It feels right because I'm so satisfied, so happy, so gratified that I was able to make this film. You caught sight of him at the premiere last week, yes, didn't you? Yes, yes, I did. And there was hundreds of Indiana Joneses in Leicester Square <laughs> waiting for Harrison Ford and other characters. He came along and signed for everyone again and met Phoebe Waller-Bridge. After all that excitement, we were like, wow, what's next? Oh, yeah, we get to see the film. We all felt that like it was the perfect send-off. You know, it starts with kind of young Indian 1944 via this amazing new technology where they made Harrison Ford look younger again, which looks amazing. Yeah, we do that to Roger Johnson every night on Northwest Tonight. <laughs> is that right? Yeah, yeah. Never so ended. that's your secret, Roger. What's no secret is Patrick's admiration for Harrison Ford. I'm not all that enamoured with uh, film stars. If, if it was footballers, yeah. And this little adventure that he's on at the moment, I hope it works for him. Gives him something to do, I suppose. You know. <laughs> I've not met many men who own a 10-foot whip. Yeah. Have you ever had to use this in a situation of uh, blind aggression or self-defence? <laughs> yeah, well, you just go, get back! I learned a few tricks with it. When I was much younger, I took a chunk out of my ear one day with it. Um, so they're not really, you know, don't try this at home kind of thing. Same goes for most Indiana Jones moves. Ian Haslam, BBC Northwest Tonight. Don't. Amazing what a bit of CGI I can do, isn't it? <laughs> 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 yeah, right. Every night. Um, gosh, that was amazing, wasn't it? His dad looked a bit like Harrison Ford, I thought. He really did. Yeah. Why anyway, did you okay. to do the, to do the loaded... The Ford finger. <laughs> do it. Unbelievable. <laughs> the average for the time of year is 20. So we're in picking up a little bit. It certainly won't be a record-breaking week. Oh. Not like that. Uh, Al has just tweeted. He said, I notice it's a K night. I'm expecting a banter fest before <laughs> seven. <laughs> so you Take and it the... away, Kay. Yeah. I'm getting a name for myself. You and the Ford finger. You see the Ford finger. That's all you need. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for My watching. two dads. Have a great night. <laughs> I always say two dads. <laughs> <laughs>